you just came here or you were here the whole time? I've been here a while. Okay. No, you're hiding, you're hiding behind the camera, don't worry. No, I, no, I was trying to be funny. Did, did you get to eat, by the way? No, I didn't. Okay. Maybe right after? Yeah, if there's still food. Can you make sure there is some food for him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, please make sure that uh, we well, can... They always take care of me. Thank you no, so no, much. Good idea. Very good, yes. Are you ready to go? So, do you mind if we start with your name? I Should I hold it. on? Just, just look at me. That's all you got to do. Yeah, my name is Sabil Ahmed. S-A-B-E-E-L-A-H-M-E-D. And who are you with? Uh, I'm with uh, Ikna Houston. And I'm also the director of the outreach called Gain Peace. Uh, we provide uh, outreach services to many uh, ICNA chapters in many cities and states in the U.S. Thank you. So, talk about this. Uh, talk about this uh, discussion, this panel that you were just having for the last couple of hours. Yes. So, what we had was this was an open house in which we invited our fellow Americans to come and engage with the Muslims. And the reason we are doing it is a three-pronged reason. First and foremost, people may have misunderstandings and misinformation about Islam. So we brought them over here to socialize with them, we ate food together, right? And uh, they get to ask any question that they have. And people had many questions. They had questions about polygamy, about Jesus, about crucifixion, right? About women. So we did our best to clarify the misconceptions. So that's one reason. The second reason is people have fear of the unknown between different cultures and faiths and nationalities and races. And that fear of the unknown sometimes builds hate and discrimination and bias and violence. So when they come over here, we come together here as humans. So all the barriers will go away. And the third important reason is that based on the commonalities that we had in the discussion, we want to engage with people of other faiths for the common good of the society, to eradicate racism, Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, poverty, right? And all the ills of the society. So at the end of the day, we want people to uh, know that Islam is not what some people may be doing and what some media may be showing. Islam is a faith of peace. Muslims are good people. We are your neighbors. We are fellow Americans. We are your fellow humans. Let's work together to please the Creator and benefit humanity. And if somebody wanted to find out more about your program and about Gain Peace, mm -hmm. where do they go? Yeah, they can uh, go to gainpeace.com and we have many articles, many uh, tough questions and easy questions. People can get to know what Islam is. Secondly, they can also give us a call. We have a telephone number, a national telephone line. 1-800-662-ISLAM. 1-800-662-ISLAM. Anyone can call, ask any question, and they can also get request a free copy of the Quran. So we have a nationwide service. We send out packages with copy of the Quran, a book on biography of Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, and common questions people ask. This service obviously is to educate the people, to let them know what is Islam, who are the Muslims. Let's work together for common good of the society. You know, you had a couple of gentlemen who are Christian in here and who were, who were curious about, uh, about the, the deviation, I guess, w within the Quran and, 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 and within the, the, the New Testament and the reading of, of, of what happened to Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, do you get questions like that often? And do you, do, you have, do you have a lot of people that come through from other faiths that, that, are, that inquire about such things? Yes, definitely they do. So the, one of the questions that came was about Jesus. Some people take him to be as God, son of God, part of Trinity. So I mentioned from the stage up there that we respect what you're saying, but we don't take Jesus to be God, son of God or divine. We take him only to be as a prophet. So we do get many questions uh, about the commonalities, yes. Also about the differences, right? But the differences that we have, we don't make it into a debate because this is not occasion for debate and dialogue and contention and fighting. We are just educating the people the faith of Islam, who we take God to be and who Jesus to be as. So if a person asks me the question, do you celebrate Christmas? I mentioned to them, we celebrate the life and the mission and the miracles of Jesus. That he was a man, a messenger of God. I cannot be a Muslim if I don't take Jesus to be as a mighty messenger, doing wonderful miracles, raising people from the dead, feeding the poor, the hungry, healing the people, all of them with the, with the permission, with the, with the power of God. 
So we educate them, we respect the differences, and we invite them to read what the Quran says. Who is God? What are the guidance? And what is the way of salvation? So every single person, they got a gift bag. It has a copy of the Quran, English translation. It has a book of Muhammad, peace be upon him, and a few other wonderful items for their own education. Awesome. Well, Dr. Ahmed, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Sabil Ahmed. I have taught close to 15,000 students from around the world. I have a passion to teach. I have a passion to travel. I have a passion to also read and read and read. The more I travel, the more I find out that people have a thirst to learn about faith, thirst to learn about Islam, but there are not many books like a one-stop shop. There are not many places. So this course, inshallah, God willing, as we say, this is a one-stop shop, so you can learn Islam not from some dilute sources, not from the social media, not from Google. It may be wrong, it may be right, but learn from Muslims and learning from the authentic Islamic sources. So what this course is going to cover? Not only we will cover the basics of Islam, for example, the six beliefs, the five pillars. You can also learn about the cultures, the Islamic and the Muslim holidays, some of the rituals and the practices. Maybe your friends, your colleagues, and your classmates may be doing. You'll be better informed. And last but not the least, we will learn some of the misunderstood concepts within Islam. For example, apostasy, uh, Sharia, Sunni and Shia, Jihad, women in Islam. These are all misunderstood concepts. So together, we can clarify what are the actual meanings of these important concepts. Hopefully, by taking the course, you will realize you know, this is what the media is saying about those concepts, but this is the reality coming from the Islamic sources. And lastly, you will realize many things which are in common between people of faith, between Islam and Judaism and the faith of Christianity. So we will realize that there are so many things in common. And uh, the one of the purpose of this course is to build on those commonalities so we can work together to make better societies. So let's embark to study the faith of two billion people. See you in the class. Thank you.